Midfielders Sofian Amrabat and Kabi Mainu trained separately away from the main group at Carrington on Tuesday. As the squad prepared for the trip to Germany to face Bayern Munich on Wednesday, in our opening game of Group A in the UEFA Champions League, the pair were spotted building up their fitness in advance of making their first appearances of the season at a later date. Amrabat joined from Fiorentina in a loan deal finalized on transfer deadline day, but was forced to withdraw from the Morocco squad with a meaner injury and was not available for the defeat against Breton and Hove Albion. Menou enjoyed the trust of Eric Ten Hag in Precision and started the friendly with Real Madrid, only to be hurt in the opening exchanges during a freak collision with Rodrigo. The 18-year-old took part in an individual light-running exercise as he strives to make his way back after impressing in the United States. Amrabat, of course, has yet to make his debut for the club but will become the first-ever Moroccan to play for the Reds. Academy graduate Mainu, a key member of the 2022 FA Youth Cup winning team under Travis Binion, has made three senior appearances to date, including one start. In the Carabao Cup victory over Charlton Athletic at Old Trafford last January. Hopefully, both are now on track to step up their return to full fitness in order to provide more options in the engine room for manager Ten Hag. Meanwhile, Manchester United are preparing to jet off to Bavaria for their impending Champions League showdown against Bundesliga giants Bayern Munich at the Allianz Arena on Wednesday night. Returning to the marquee European competition this season, United were drawn against Bayern, FC Copenhagen, and Galatasaray in Group A. However, they have several injury concerns for their opener. Eric Ten Hag was without eight players during the dismal 3-1 defeat against Brighton on Saturday afternoon as his misfiring side were beaten for the third time in the Premier League. Among the absentees were defenders Raphael Varane and Luke Shaw plus on-loan midfielder Sofian Amrabat. United are hopeful one of them will be fit enough to return against Bayern on Wednesday night, although Aaron Wan-Bissaka has added to their selection woes and faces several weeks on the treatment table. Away from the pitch, meanwhile, the club have one eye on the January transfer window, and they continue to be linked with swoops for several high-profile players, again and again. You can ask yourself where David De Gea is now after Eric Ten Hag admits he's changed his mind about him. Former Manchester United goalkeeper David De Gea is still without a club after leaving Old Trafford as a free agent, with Eric Ten Hag signing Andre Onana as his replacement. After more than a decade of service to Manchester United, eyebrows were raised when David De Gea revealed he had left the club via social media earlier this summer. Although the veteran goalkeeper, 32, had excelled in previous years when United were not at their best, he struggled to adapt to the demands placed upon him by Eric Ten Hag, who puts an emphasis on his shot stoppers playing out from the back. De Gea, who was in the final year of his contract, was also undermined by a number of costly errors which sparked speculation that Ten Hag would seek a new number one ahead of the 2023-24 campaign. Weeks after De Gea announced he would be leaving the club as a free agent, United signed Andre Onana in a 47.2 million deal from Inter Milan. However, the Cameroon International has endured an indifferent start to life at Old Trafford and has already been criticized in some quarters by several pundits. De Gea, meanwhile, is still unattached perhaps surprisingly, given his pedigree. The Spain international amassed 190 clean sheets in 545 appearances for the Red Devils and won the Premier League's Golden Glove Award just weeks before leaving United. Despite a lack of movement, plenty of clubs have been credited with an interest in his services over the course of the summer. He was heavily linked with Bayern Munich shortly after becoming a free agent, and recent reports in Spain have touted Real Betis as a possible destination for the ex-Atletico Madrid man, who is free to sign for a club outside of the transfer window, given his free agent status. While it initially seemed as De Gea would stay for another year at Old Trafford, it was revealed by the Manchester Evening News that Ten Hag had changed his mind 
over the club's goalkeeping situation late in the season. The report outlined that the Dutchman was heavily influenced by three games where mistakes by De Gea led to goals, Sevilla, West Ham, and the FA Cup final defeat by Manchester City. Once it became clear that Ten Hag wanted to move in a different direction, the writing was on the wall for De Gea, who was initially signed by Sir Alex Ferguson back in 2011. In his emotional farewell message on social media, De Gea wrote, I just wanted to send this farewell message to all Manchester United supporters. I would like to express my unwavering gratitude and appreciation for the love from the last 12 years. We've achieved a lot since my dear Sir Alex Ferguson brought me to this club. I took incredible pride every time I pulled on this shirt to lead the team, to represent this institution. The biggest club in the world was an honor only bestowed upon a few lucky footballers. It's been an unforgettable and successful period since I came here. I didn't think from leaving Madrid as a young boy, we would achieve what we did together. Now, it's the right time to undertake a new challenge, to push myself again in new surroundings. Manchester will always be in my heart. Manchester has shaped me and will never leave me. We've seen it all elsewhere. Manchester United legend Paul Parker has claimed that Johnny Evans should start ahead of Harry Maguire. He told mybettingsites.co.uk. The center-half area has proven to be a weak spot for Man United because all the players have proven to be fragile in terms of injuries. Martinez is still injured, and it might be the same injury that harassed him at the end of the season. Hopefully, he will be ready after the international break. Of course, there is no way that Harry Maguire should play for Man United, and I don't get why he is still at the club. I would prefer Johnny Evans ahead of him, without a shadow of a doubt. I actually think that Johnny Evans should play next to Martinez, but Lindelof could also be an option. Varane has been moaning about the new rule about extra minutes being played because of time-wasting, but he is not playing a lot of minutes anyway because he is always injured. On the other side, Bayern Munich have received a timely boost ahead of their Champions League clash against Manchester United. Star duo Rafael Guerrero and Kingsley Coman have returned to training ahead of the match tomorrow. Guerrero could still miss the game as he continues to manage his torn calf that he suffered in preseason. However, Coman could be fit enough to feature. While Manchester United youngster Gabriele Biancheri has signed his first professional deal with the club. Again and again, Kane urges Bayern to respect Man United. Harry Kane has urged his Bayern Munich teammates not to underestimate Man Ut when the two sides meet on Wednesday. The former Tottenham striker told Sports Illustrated, A difficult game. I know Manchester United are having a difficult moment at the moment, but sometimes teams like that are dangerous because they're always looking to come back in a big way. So we have to be prepared for them, and of course we want to get the crowd behind us as early as possible on Wednesday in front of our home crowd and approach the game with a lot of intensity. The Champions League is always special, and my first game with Bayern Munich will stay with me, so I hope it goes well.